look at the content-rich editor in Canvas. Uh, in this example, you can see it here. This is a, an essay where you've been asked to respond in a text box type of situation. I wanted to go over a few of the basic font and formatting uh, commands and a few other things that you might be able to input into your responses in terms of like essay questions or free response type of, of questions or quizzes. Uh, first of all, you've got your basic formatting tools. You've got the font size, you've got the headings. Uh, these are kind of pre-formatted so you can kind of pick and choose. You don't have a selection of fonts necessarily, um, but you can change the font sizes and the different headings, which uh, are obviously there's only a few choices. We can also bold, italicize, underline, uh, pretty common stuff. You can change the color of your font. You can even change the highlight of your font if you wanted to highlight a few things. Uh, in this example, you can, of course, use a superscript like an exponent or a subscript. Uh, just choose either one. The exponent automatically starts off, uh, but then you have the superscript, uh, subscript and superscripts at the bottom. So you can click on them that way. Uh, I can align my text in any, any direction. Um, I can add bullets or I can change them to numbers or outlines. Uh, and you've got some other things here. This talks about paragraph indentions, uh, but really, if you've been asked to place a link inside one of your files, so if you wanted to highlight, uh, let's say, a, a bit of text and link a website to that, or if you have a file you'd like to link to download that, you can click there and you can put the link in just like that. So if I had um, some kind of text here, I can highlight that text, and then I can go over to my link, and I choose external links, and it'll say, and I paste that link in right here. Maybe it's a YouTube video or maybe it's a, a doc that you have in your Google Drive. Um, that, that bit is up to you. If I wanted to embed photos into my pic, into my work, if I'm typing up stuff and I wanted to kind of make it a little bit more attractive, um, I could do that and I can upload videos from here uh, or I can choose images that I've pre-uploaded in other assignments. But in this case, probably we're going to be choosing the upload. So if you've saved that file or you've got an image on your on your computer, and you wanted to upload that to add it to your text, uh, to your to your paper, then you can upload it this way. You can embed uh, or you can record media. In some instances, you may be responding rather than typing out all your, your responses, you can in fact record your media. And so if you put it here, I can click the record icon and now you can record exactly what you are seeing and you can hear it. Now, if I don't want my webcam on, uh, I can I can click the mic I can change the mic and I can turn my webcam on or off. So if I just wanted to do audio, I can make it just audio. Um, if I had a YouTube video that I wanted to embed, and this is a little bit more advanced, I could get that embed code and place it in this box here. Um, otherwise, I would drag and drop any files that I wanted to embed or to put on it and I'd put it right there. Uh, this would be embedding a document. Probably not going to do that as much because you're going to be typing it out. But uh, a few other things. If you click on these little dots here, there's a few other ones. Uh, the, the important parts here, if I wanted to add a table, maybe for some organization, I can create some columns, some, some uh, rows and columns here to help myself organize a few things. So I'm going to go ahead and let's say I'm going to embed uh, a table like this. And so then it gives you the option of entering text or images into these, uh, into these cells. I can also go back here and I can select upload an image and I can paste those in just like that. Um, if I'm working on a math problem, let's say that I needed to embed or type in some math formulas that makes it look a lot nicer, I can go ahead and click this and this is gonna bring up a, a new window and I can type in like three divided by four and it automatically converts that into formulas. Uh, what if I wanted to add like a square root? Uh, that's actually really easy too. I'll go up and select the square root symbol up here and I can just type in the square root of 2 or the square root of 2x. Uh, I can also add an exponent. If you click the caret button, that's shift 6. You can add exponents to get down outside of the exponents or even outside of the radical sign, the square root. I've got to press to the right to get to the next section, to the next character, and that you'll see that happen. If you keep typing, it's going to all be up in the exponent every time. Notice your symbols up top if you have a, a math or science class that's asking you this. If you need some Greek letters, you can go here to click Greek and all of your Greek letters uh, show up there. And then of course, you've got lots of other symbols that you may or may not use depending on the courses you're in. Okay, 
Um, sometimes I may just come here to get a, a, a Greek letter. You can also search that up on the web. Just type in the, the name of the letter, copy it, paste it right into your document. It's kind of what works both ways. So if I click insert, what that's going to do is it's going to go back. It's going to bring that. It's going to paste it right in, and, and I can do it. I can answer my math questions by using this kind of care, uh, this formula. Uh, and, and pretty much at that point, um, that's most of your tools. There's a few other things here, but I don't think for the most part uh, we're going to be using these kinds of tools. Uh, these are the formatting tools and a little bit more of the inputting pictures and maybe videos in and and that should get you pretty much all the way in. So this is your content rich editor uh, for your free response questions.